Yonkers Royce, it's live here at 1520, 1520, 1516 around this area. Yonkers was badly hit by this water condition from last night. And as you guys can see, a lot of houses, cars are underwater, underwater. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. Now, there is areas that are even worse. North Broadway by La Martine is closed to traffic. A lot of debris, a lot of debris on the road. Police has the area closed for safety reasons and for cleanup. Here, where I am, 15 Naperham, 15, 20 Naperham. Cars come down, they park, stop for Montelli to make an assessment if they should go forward or not. And mostly are coming because the water is not that deep here at this location. But I hear that the street parallel to this, it's really bad. Let me see if I can go across here to show you an angle from that, from the other area. Now this is only one area that is floods all over. I'm going to try to go to the other side of the of this street, the street that runs parallel to this. I believe it's called Clooney and to see how much access can I get. I might be able to get close, I might not be able to go to get close, but I'm going to try. But by this you can see the damage, the serious damage. Now I'm told that on the other side it's even so serious damage. Houses are flooded. Houses are flooded. Look at that house. Look at the driveway and look where the water is. They have a hose pumping water out. But the, the, they pump in the water out, but the water goes right back in because this is just flooded until this absorbs and uh, the water goes away. Look at that motorcycle down there. Soy la gente que habla español. Yo estoy aquí en Nepperham Avenue, cerca del 15, 16, 20, 18. Como pueden ver, la agua ha subido bastante, carros abajo de agua. Pero el tráfico aquí continúa caminando. Pero me dicen que del otro lado, a donde están viendo el señor trabajando, que todavía está peor. Yo voy a tratar de ir allá a ver si puedo, qué cerca puedo llegar para que usted vea lo que está pasando. Nos dejó completamente destruido en muchas áreas de Yonkers. En eh, North Broadway, en La Martín, esa área está completamente cerrada al tráfico. 
la policía está ya está bloqueando, nada puede pasar para norte o sur, tiene que dar la vuelta. Por tanto, cuidado, se no tiene que salir, no salgan. Las calles también están, los asfaltos saliendo, todo partido. Be careful out there. Let me go to the other side and see what can I film from there, from the other side, from Clooney. Stay safe out there, guys. Now I am on Clooney. This is the parallel street that I was telling you about. That was very hardly hit. Look. All this stuff, dirt here, it's dirt water. The workers are doing their best to control the river overflowed from sawmill, as you guys can see. The houses are completely flooded, are completely flooded. How are you doing, guys? This is water from uh, from the river, right by sawmill. Of course, I'm not going to walk in there because I don't have the equipment necessary. But I'm just showing you the damage that the water caused from last night. Look at that driveway and look at where the, the water is so you have an idea of how deep that water is right here at this area. And again, guys, just a warning, North Broadway by La Martine, it's also close to traffic. So if you need to uh, go around, or if you need to pass by that area, go around Palisade or the Warburton. Do not attempt to go through La Martine, you know, through La Martine or North Broadway because the roads are just not accessible. And this is just two areas that I show you, plus the North Broadway and La Martine. But I hear that there is many other areas in Yonkers that were hit by this overnight. So stay safe, be home, don't go out if you don't have to, and allow the first responders and emergency workers to do what they're supposed to do. So until later, thank you very much for watching. Now I am at... Uh, Sawmill Parkway River. Today the name makes sense. River. Because this looks like a river. Look. Multiple cars stranded down there. That is one. There. Another one then there and this is right by Tompkins Avenue exit 11 right by Hearst and as you guys can see the water It's coming down on Hearst and the river. It's almost Totally over flooded by the by the little bridge
So guys, stay home if you need, if you don't have to come out. The roads are still dangerous. There is debris all over town in many, many different areas, including North Broadway by La Martine. That road is actually closed. North Broadway by La Martine is closed. No traffic, police are there blocking the roads. DPW is there cleaning up the debris. There is floods all over the place. Sawmill Parkway by Tompkins Avenue exit, Hurst Street exit, it's completely flooded. There is no traffic. There is no traffic in either direction. Roads and houses are totally flooded, uh, flooded as you guys saw on my prior video. This is a mess. This is a mess. So if you don't have to come out, don't come out. Stay home. Now this is also, you know, Sawmill River Road, Sawmill River Parkway by the Executive Boulevard entry or exit. As you guys can see, totally flooded, cars abandoned. And if you come in this way, you have to make a left turn, but then you go nowhere because the entrance to the parkway on the other side is also blocked. It's also totally flooded. So the Sawmill River Parkway is closed. Don't attempt to come this way, it's done. Parking lot right here by a consumer's report looks like a pool. As you guys can see.
Now I am on North Broadway area in La Martin. As you guys can see, this retaining wall collapsed. It's down. And the roads, North Broadway and La Martin and up, it's completely closed to the debris on the ground. Look at this here. This came from that retaining wall. Let me see, let me get much closer to the road so you guys can have an exact idea of the massive damage caused. Landslide down. As you guys can see, there is a, a police cruiser all the way at the end, blocking the road from La Martine. The landslide down. Another retaining wall down on top of this vehicle. And that's the wall that was the retaining wall that collapsed as you guys can see and everything came on top of this vehicle this is north broadway and la martin and high street right at the intersection and as you guys can see police is blocking this road so no vehicles go Southbound or northbound. La gente que habla español, como pueden ver, yo estoy aquí en North Broadway, en High Street, entre High y La Martín. Como puedo ver aquí, hubo un desastre. Las paredes cayeron arriba de un carro. Del lado también. Las calles son impasables en este momento. Me dicen que, que están trabajando acá desde ayer, pero todavía está un mes. Sou pessoal que fala português. Estou aquí en el North Broadway, entre High Street y La Martin. Y como pueden ver, no hay tráfico. Los únicos carros que ustedes ven que se están a mover aquí son carros que estão parqueados ou estão a sair das suas residências e têm que ir para trabalhar, mas carros normais não há tráfico, não há tráfico. Uma parede caiu aqui, ali em cima, como vocês podem ver, e outro, outra parede ali caiu em cima do primeiro carro que vocês podem ver. A polícia está a bloquear a área, nesta direção e na outra direção completamente aí em baixo. So guys, if this is your route to go to work, today I suggest that you go around unless you're on a waste time by coming all the way down here and not being able to go through. The only cars that go through here are cars from residents that live around these buildings or that are parked on this road and the police officers are letting them go through. But from Ashburton up, there is no cars coming through. There is no traffic flowing in this area. 
So drive careful. Yonk is a mess today. This is the fourth site that uh, we've been today. Sawmill Parkway is completely flooded. There is no, uh, at least by Executive Boulevard and Hearst, it's completely down. So found your way around, but don't attempt. Don't attempt to cross, don't attempt to go because you won't be able to, to go through. Yonk is always reporting on site. We are always reporting from the things we feel it's important for our community to know. Guys, see what I do? I'm walking on top of the mud just to get the images so you can see exactly the mess 